goes to the second part of episode number two. So here we are going to be doing how to log transform the data set. And we're going to be using additive and multiplicative technology, which I explained you in the previous one. First of all, we're going to import our pandas as pd and read the file using pd.read underscore csv. I'll share the link down below in the description if you want to practice. Now here you're going to print the top five rows. You're going to print the data tag. You're going to shape, the, you know, print the number of columns. And here is the information about all the columns. And in the end, we're going to import math.lib.python as plt. This library is used for plotting and making graphs. A common example which I use for is to make linear graphs, multi, uh, you know, clustering graphs, and many more. So here we don't want any errors. So we're going to convert our column called month to date time format. Because if we do the log transformation or the additive and multiplicative technology on this column, it's obviously going to show us an error. So how do you convert it? You're going to use data.month and you're going to store the month inside. It's going to be pd.2 underscore time, date time. And you're going to enter your format over here. This is going to be percentage y to percentage m. Here we have data index, which is month, and we're going to delete data month. Now in the end, we're going to plot our graph. As you can see, this is, these are the years actually, and these are the passing years, increasing over time. This is a perfect example for time series data set, including seasonality. And there is no irregularity over here, because everything is going smooth. Then we're gonna import this library called from stats model from TCA seasonal import seasonal decompose. This is where we're gonna you know, deconstruct our time series. As I explained, we're going to deconstruct into these following components called trend, seasonality, and residual. Residual quick information is when not everything is captured by trend or seasonality. Now, to do the multiplicative technology, we're going to do multi underscore decompose is equal to seasonal decompose, which is our library. And we're going to enter your uh, your column, which you want to, you know, do the multiplicative technology in. And you're going to enter your model. You're going to plot it out. And here is our first graph. As you can see, these is this is like the first normal graph without anything changed. This is the trend separately. These are the seasonality. And this is the residual, which means not everything captured by trend or seasonality. Now to do, to do the additive multi technology, you're gonna do the same thing, but instead of um, instead of writing multi decompose, you're gonna do additive decompose, and model is gonna be additive. As you can see, there are some differences. For example, the trend we take over here, season is almost same, but I find mainly difference in the residual. This is basically a straight line hovering on the one side. But this over here is hovering between um, negative zero to plus 50. And now we're gonna log transform our data by importing numpy as entry and data log is gonna be equal to data copy. Here, we're gonna log the data set, which means to transform it. You're gonna do all the information, for example, like data log is equal to data copy. Then we have the passengers column over here is equal to entry log dot data. And now we're gonna delete passenger. Here we're gonna plot, you know, data.log plot, and we're gonna show our transform graph. And now we're going to plot both the original and the log transformed time series data set. So for the first one, it's gonna, the, you know, the subplot is gonna be two by one by one, and the title is going to be original time series. And we're gonna plot our data. Same thing goes for the second part, but instead of plotting data, we're gonna plot data log, and the title is gonna be log transform time series. And here we have, we are gonna set the layout to time layout. And as you can see, this is the original time series. This is the original time series, completely normal. And this is the log transform size. 
as you can see, there are many different tiers. For example, this was higher, this was lower. You can see that this is hovering about the 100, while this is actually going above 505. And here we are, finished with the chapter. Thank you so much.